So we want to talk today about creating data acquisition tasks. And in particular, we're going to create a data acquisition task in Measurement and Automation Explorer. You can see that I have my MyDAC defined uh, in Measurement and Automation Explorer. It's plugged in and operating. So what we're going to do to create a data acquisition task is we're going to go to right click on Data Neighborhood, and we're going to tell it to create new. And we want to create a task, not a global channel. We want a task. We're going to tell it next. It's going to then bring me up a list of the things that I can do. And in this case, we're going to acquire an analog input. And we're going to grab voltage. Now, notice that there are a whole bunch of different things here that you can do. Strain, current, resistance, position gives us a couple of different things. The MyDAC input will only do voltage. So we're going to select voltage. We're going to come into the MyDAC and we're going to say, I want to get analog input channel zero. And then I'm going to tell it next. And it's going to give me a chance to name it. And we're going to name this test MyDAC volts. There we go. And we're going to finish this. In a moment, it's going to pop open a screen for us. There we go. So you can see up here we have voltage input. Okay. I'm going to expand the details for a moment, and you'll see that we're doing a voltage on analog input zero. Okay. So we can hide this guy again. The input signal range is plus or minus 10. The MIDAC only has two choices plus or minus 10 and plus or minus 2. We're going to leave it plus or minus 10. The scaled unit is volts because we have no custom scaling. We'll talk about custom scaling in, a, in another session, okay? And I'm going to change this guy to a chart, okay? And I'm right now I am one sample on demand, so I'm going to go tell it to run. And what it's gonna go do is get one sample at a time and it's gonna plot it up there. So let's go ahead and stop this. I could also say I want to go get some number of samples. So let's go get um, 20 samples at 50, uh, let's make it 500 so we don't have to wait very long. 500 samples a second. I'm going to save this because none of these changes take effect if I don't save it. And we're gonna run it and you can see that each time we run, it's gonna go out there and grab 20 samples, okay? Very simple system. We can also set it to do continuous samples. Under continuous samples, it ignores the number of samples to be read, but it does pay attention to the rate. Again, we're going to save this, and then we're going to tell to run. And you can see that we're now continually cycling, getting voltage off the DAC board, okay? So I'm going to go switch this back to end samples. I'm going to tell it I want to get 500 samples, and I'm going to get them at 500 samples per second, and I'm going to save this. So this is now the, the task configuration I'm going to use in my program. So now we come over to our program. We want to acquire that data. So what we're going to do is come down here to measurement IO, DAC MX, and the only thing we need is the read, okay? And the read I need to change because I am getting analog, single channel, multiple samples, and I'm going to get it as a 1D double. The next thing I have to do is I have to tell it where to acquire that from. So I'm going to create a constant, and I'm going to come here, and I'm going to get my test my DAC volts right there. So now what's going to happen is every time this guy does a read, He's going to go out and get however many samples I have defined here, which is 500, okay? So just for fun, let's put a waveform chart up here so that we have some place to put the data. We'll wire him to our output. There we go, there's my data output. And then we're ready to go. I can execute this and I get my data, my channels. Um, I'm going to go just to show you how many samples we got. I'm going to set this to zero and a thousand. 
and you can see that, that we acquired approximately 500 channels here, for our 500 samples right there, and it took about a second, okay? Very simple system. That's the entire data acquisition program, and it's ready to go. Now, there is one downside to this. If I save this program and give it to somebody, they do not get any of this information with it, okay? This information stays with the computer. So if you want to give this to somebody, you have to go out to file and export, and then you have to tell it where you're gonna get it, and you're gonna to have to tell it what type of file, and then we're gonna go next, and it's gonna ask me what things to export, and it will get here eventually. It takes it a second. And it will get here eventually. Waiting, 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 waiting. Still waiting. There we go. And I'm going to go into my tasks and I'm going to say, I want to export this task. Okay, and then what it does is that will create an NCE file which you can then import on whatever computer you're going to run the program on so that it knows where to get it. Now, if you're going to do that, you also need to know this information. You can see he's already checked. He's checked because this guy is checked and he's using him. So when you go do that import, it's going to try to import this configuration as well as the data acquisition. And that's it for this one.